Pearls, it's your final game. Obviously, a range of emotions. How are you feeling right now? Uh, yeah, as you said, there's lots of feelings at the moment. Um, happiness, gratitude, pretty knackered. Um, I guess it's been such a big sort of 72 hours and I'm just so thankful that I had the opportunity to, to play one last game and get it out there one more time. What did it mean to do it in front of all your friends and family and there's a plethora of them tonight? Yeah, it's, um, it was something really special, I think. Um, you play footy, I guess, for your family, for your friends and for your teammates. And uh, for me, coming back this year and, and really trying to get back out there one more time, um, I'm just really happy I was able to. Your journey is, is so well storied. All your struggles, the highs and lows, to actually step back out onto the field and feel the blades of grass under your feet in an AFL game. What was that moment like and, and the emotions that flew through that? Yeah, um, it, was, it was amazing, really. There were so many times over the last two years where I thought I'd never be able to do it again. And I guess um, a sense of pride that I was able to work through some, some quite difficult times and, and to pull the jumper on one more time and to run out onto the MCG, the home of footy, for this club. Um, oh, it was something I'll remember forever. How does it make you feel to be so loved amongst the playing group and our supporters? Oh, yeah, I, I, I'm just thankful, I guess. Um, our supporters have been through more than, more than they should have. And I guess uh, lack of success, um, some other things, and some instability and, and some difficult times. So I guess I love them just as much as they may love me. And, Certainly going to miss running out um, in front of in front of our fans because they're just they're the best fans in the competition. A real moment for them was in that last quarter where you marked it and you had the shot at goal. Take me through it as you're lining up for it, mate. Yeah, I was that nervous. I um, I didn't know whether to kick it around the body or, or, or a drop punt, but I thought if I if I get the snap wrong, I'm going to middle it and it's going to go in the middle of the ground. So went the safe option and um, yeah, when it sailed through and. So it looked at the crowd, it was, um, yeah, it was pretty special. Finally, obviously you're talking about it's been a tough week for the club and a tough year, pretty much. What is your message to the fans as, as you leave now and having come back and played, what do you feel is the future for this group, playing-wise and whatever happens in, in the immediate to long-term future? Yeah, it's, um, it has been a tough week and sort of a week that was slightly unexpected, but... I guess what I would say is through these difficult times um, it's a real opportunity to, to galvanise the footy club and uh, to get on the same page to, to create a path, to create a plan and, and to really go all in to trying to achieve that. Um, as I touched on earlier, we, we haven't had the success that, that we've been after over the last sort of however many years, 20 odd years and for a big club we're really hungry for that. I know for me, I wasn't lucky enough to have that success, so I know how that feels and I know how the fans feel, but um, I am confident that we have some, some fantastic people at this football club and I hope, no, no doubt, if we can create the right environment, we can get that success. Well, Hells, again, congratulations on a wonderful career. You held your head up so high and, and your journey is a, honestly an inspiration to everyone, so well done, mate, and enjoy your time. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it.